little spot down there for a camp though. At least we got some water and some sort of be protected from the wind. Yeah. That'd be cool. Hopefully they stay out of the wind. <laughs> so tomorrow, like we were saying, you can we'll pitch camp over here and uh get back up after glassing this evening. We'll we can kind of come back up to this get a full vantage point of basically 180 degrees make sure we're not missing anything yeah and then kind of like press on with the original plan go further north yeah you know, we could set up camp and go packless up this little spine just to see if there's something on the far side yeah so once we start walking that way we're gonna lose that perspective a little bit yeah be a lot quicker without a pack. Should be pretty easy. It's gonna be tough finding the sheep in the snow. <laughs> cool. We just want one sheep that's tired of it. <laughs> tired of all the snow we need the BS. old cranky one with bad joints. He's looking for warmer <laughs> weather. Snow burning down to Florida. Yeah. <laughs> what would that one? Come down here, buddy. We'll take care of you. <laughs> some snow last night didn't we a little bit a little bit <laughs> we woke up last night i don't know when it was probably two in the morning to our tent sagging in the middle and i just punched the side and a big snowpack <laughs> went sliding down <laughs> that's when we knew we were in trouble <laughs> yeah, that's when we knew we were in trouble and i i don't know i'm not and snow that often anymore i'd probably guess like we got a couple inches yeah you know roughly and um <clears throat> thanks thankfully that the tent held up we just have a tp with no bathtub design and we just kept every hour or two kind of hitting it off the side and we stayed warm enough i think the insulation around the base with the tp it actually blocked some of that wind that was coming through too but now we've got decisions to make i kind of think looking at this valley that we originally came from it dusted all the way down to it yeah. but it's like a gradation all the way down to it so it's not like it, it probably was a quarter inch down at the bottom so i'm not worried about like having to go shovel a runway for the pilot um Sweet. i think we look at the onyx map and today it was forecasted to have that snow. I, I'm curious what the future forecast. I think it could warm up. And I, once it gets this high, it seems like it's been sticking, but maybe a little bit lower where we need to get out, not as much of a concern. And so I'd like to keep pressing on north uh, with our faces into the wind and um, go explore a little bit of new country today. Might be hard to see them, but I like it. Let's do it. Yeah. I and we're gonna sit and glass all day anyways, so. Uh, hopefully this pushes them down. Maybe that. Sorry, maybe it'll push them down, dude. <laughs> maybe it'll make that brown. If we bear. got two inches here, then it must be like four inches up. This tall guys. Yeah. Like four or five plus. It'll make the bears easier to see. Yeah. Yeah. There's. Uh, I don't know if we said it in any videos yesterday, but there's a bear digging out massive holes, just rooting around. Uh, and that was on the runway. It, up this mountain so we're we're also looking for him that'd be a dream as well that'd be cool yeah we'll get a bear first and then we'll let all the sheep freak out from up high walk right into our laps exactly if not the well, he's gonna have some coffee <laughs> coffee
after stopping and glassing through multiple areas and mostly working our way back through full 360 from where we started 24 hours ago we came across this massive crater into the side of the hill where this brown bear has been uh, rooting and uh, just next to it is a big old fresh pile of scat and this is the second um, root sign that we've seen since uh, last night and uh, a couple other bear signs we both have brown bear tags in our pockets and so we're kind of secretly hoping we stumble on one in the midst of a sheep hunt which would be pretty comical in my mind fingers crossed guys we are making it back to our point of origin from where we started a little over 24 hours ago and that bear that we came across that was rooting around we see him at probably a thousand yards and uh, we're gonna go range him we're gonna go get close our wind is at our backs which is bad so we gotta sidestep him and go uphill where hopefully it'll it'll pass him but we're gonna try to get within 400 and get Andrew a shot so next time we see us with the camera on we're gonna be probably setting up for the shot let's get him up Just over. Hit. Put another one. Up and right, up and right running. There. Is he hit? Yeah. Is that the one walking away? Yeah. If he slows down, hit him again. Just watch what he does. Don't make it a bad shot what though. What range is it? Huh? What range? Hold on. He's 500. Look at the 500 and dial to five. He's turning away. Is he bleeding? Down. Yeah. He's there. Is he moving? I haven't seen him yet. 
He's in the same spot. He's moving now. Do you see him? It's like the top half of his body against that rock face. That rock face is right above him. He's not moving. He's thinking about walking in or laying down. Anders bear, it is down, and uh, yeah, it's a big deal, Dave. So <laughs> we're gonna go up there. We marked its location uh, relative to some boulders, and um, we went ahead and set up tent because it was raining at the time, and so we got all of our gear stowed away. We're at the, like the minimum amount of weight, game bags, knives. Uh, there's gonna be a creek crossing. I can't tell how deep. It doesn't look fun, but we'll go do it, and uh, we'll get on this bear. Let's Ooh. go get him. Sit down on your bum. Huh? Yeah, go for it. You're good. First bear. I've made it. I appreciate you, Joe. So, dude, it's your first bear. <laughs> We're here in Alaska. What are your thoughts? Uh, this is wild. This is a wild trip. Came out here for uh, for sheep, and uh, Joe and I both had bear tags in our back pocket just in case. And we were walking back to the airstrip that we got dropped off at, and lo and behold, we come across this one, and uh, it is it is 200 yards from the airstrip. About the biggest blessing that you could you could ask for. So I'm super pumped uh, to do this while I'm still in Alaska, <laughs> and super appreciative to Joe. Joe gave me the first ride of refusal for. Uh, either sheep or bear so now he's he's up next i have to come back out here <laughs> I, don't, I don't have much of a choice <laughs> that's awesome man congrats dude it's a big deal yeah it's exciting happy for you well good morning everyone this isn't exactly what we expected to wake up to today we Dropped after just a recap from last night dropped 2,000 feet in elevation did a big perimeter around basically to our starting point in the meantime we saw Andrews bear and we took that and uh, got to bed last night and we were kind of shocked and surprised that even after dropping 2,000 feet in elevation we still had about another inch and a half of snow fall down on us throughout the night and the bush plane guy is going to come and we're just talking about our options this snow basically makes this valley unhuntable um, we can transit short ways and there's a couple passes that will take us to a different strip but that would mean climbing uh, 3500 feet in elevation through feet of snow and uh, that doesn't seem really doable for the gear and stuff that we have today so I'm not happy about it but um, this this could mean like a short end to the sheep hunt so we're gonna get with the bush plane guy when he's here see what he's seen on the other strip and um, I don't know what do you think here go check that strip out but it's probably gonna look a lot like this what do you think? I, I suspect the same like I can't imagine that being any different so Probably same, same, but we'll see what he says. Yeah. Yeah. I have to reclassify this as a bear hunt. <laughs> Sheep hunt turned bear hunt, dude. That's right. So we got one. Yeah, we That's did. pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> 